Hello friends, it's McBirdie and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. So the kids just found out that they're stuck in the school, so I guess now they're just trying to figure out what exactly that means. Oh, but the twist is, if you really want to get out, you have to kill someone. So this is really a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Um, but let's continue, shall we? Uh, you must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Chapter 1! To survive daily life. Hmm. Okay. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. <laughs> right! She's right! Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <laughs> to forget such a simple fact... I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Huh? Wow. Jesus. If you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However. Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out? Duh. What the? And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But... but but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. All right. So then Fine. Then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Okay, so I guess this is the handbook. Makoto Naiji. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Hmm. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Wait, so you have to kill someone in secret? Interesting. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raise my face up from the screen. As I look around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around. This is bullshit. What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But, if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Well, no, this is real life, dude. No. <laughs> I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um... Hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. 
it's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we ha have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. D don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out what exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it. Damn straight. Okay, then let's all start looking around. Hm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Hold on well, a second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... but... Hm. So I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell, I'm going to let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? Well, the fuck that's supposed to mean? Such One ignorant. tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're I'm going to kick your ass. So stop it. We shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you just say? You some kind of goody-goody little bitch? You wanna throw down. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? N no, I wasn't. You son of a Fuck bitch. you. Wow, this is violent. Wham, oh, did he punch me? Yikes. He <laughs> He did, he punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I'd just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. Ooh, okay. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Whoa. Uh... Huh? Wh where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? Okay, well, I guess we need to look around. Um, what is this? It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Okay, um, that's a key. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. Okay, cool. Um, there's a bed. That's a weird place to put a bed. There doesn't seem to be anything particular strange about the bed. There's a piece of paper hanging up in the wall which says, Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Okay. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Ooh, wow. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Wow. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Okay. It's very strange. So, I can't... It must be night. It must be nighttime. Okay. There's a plant. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? 
Oh, let's check the drawers. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Okay, that's good. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere... Okay. Yeah, it's your dorm. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Alright, let's get out. Yes? I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Uh, wham! Oh. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm such klutz. Oh. Sayaka? Oh, just don't have to. Sorry. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. <laughs> sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. Oh, there's a, there's a little tiny picture of me on my door. That's so cute. That's good then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Uh, I was kind of worried. Uh, thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good, I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Okay. Alright. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and call that for an episode. If you guys are enjoying this series, please make sure you leave a like down below. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you can keep up to date with more episodes as I put them out. So, thanks again everyone and I will see you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>